Hey guys and welcome to this brand new video. In this video we will take a look at the performance of my portfolio in the month of September as you can see up here from September 1st to September 30th 2022. We start by taking a look at the net vermoons weather which means the net worth and we can see we decreased or I decreased the net worth by $33,653.34 or 12.34%. Well I can't really judge on that. I think I, I don't know whether I'm better or worse than the SPX. I think the SPX was actually worse. But well that's the way it is. If we take a look at the market to market performance, no uh position on market this one, we can see that I added a few shares, for example, in Canadian National Railway. I bought 15 new shares, still think it's an amazing business. I bought five more shares in ASML. And I sold out of Hermes at $308, but I rebought Hermes and I made $40 profit with that, which is nice. I rebought Hermes, I think, like two days ago or three days ago. I don't know. Because I, the, the reason why I did that trade is I hope to gain a little alpha, but that didn't quite work out. I added 10 shares in CrowdStrike. I think it's an amazing company, especially for long term. But... I have to rethink whether it actually matches my portfolio because I already own 40 net. So I probably got to rethink that as you can see here, 100 shares of 40 net. I sort of out of internet, intercontinental exchange because I increased my position or I did not increase my position, but I thought I stay with NASDAQ for now. Intuit still the same. Alarm Research, I bought five more shares. I sold off of MSCI, but I sold off of MSCI only because I tried to gain alpha on that one. I want to rebuy MSCI, that's definitely a rebuy for me. I added 10 shares in Synophysis, and I will probably continue to add shares in Synophysis because I still believe that the chip sector is like the oil of the 25th century, and Synophysis is definitely one of the companies that will profit from that. Shipping. I got assigned 200 shares of the TQQQ ProShares ETF at 62.50. Yes, that was one of the put options. I owned a very long put option. I think it should have been ex should have expired at the end of next year, or no, January next year. But I also got assigned 500 shares at or well, I sold covered calls and. The owner of the call used his right to use the option and then I got I sold out 500 shares at 24.50 and I bought three more shares in United Health. Apart from that I continue to stay invested in ProShares, the S&P, so the leverage S&P, ETF, Viva Systems and let's go. If we take a look at options, when it comes to options this month has, yeah, it has been a disaster in many places and many, and not at once. So it was a disaster, it wasn't a disaster at the same moment. Let's start with Canadian options. So as you can see, I made $38 with that put and that put is now profitable. I made money with that call and I lost money with that call and honestly, I still don't know when I bought that call. Like sometimes there are trades where I can't remember when I did them. And that's one of them. All in all, nice because we are profitable with 113 euros. Now here comes the disastrous part. And I want to start with American Tower. So I bought the 200 put, I bought a 210 put, and then I sold them for October 21st, October 2022. And what I did is, and I fortunately I did it with lots of stocks, I got very nervous. In this month, I didn't do a good trading, to be honest. So what happened, I bought them somewhere here. Maybe I think, let me lie here. 21st and sold them 29th and bought that one on 29th. Oh no, I sold that one at 200 and then bought it. Yeah, that's for example another thing. But now referring to that one. So I sold it and rebought it because I thought, okay, uh, market... It, it won't go that low, will it? So then I bought it. But here I noticed, okay, I switched from selling a put to buying a put because I assume that exactly that happened. I, I was assuming that this would happen. But I lost my balls with these in these two days. And now I sold them 
And in my October review, we'll see that I made roughly a thousand bucks. I lost a thousand bucks with that with that position. But if I would have kept it now, they would be worth I think two and a half grand, three grand. I really and you will see this with many. For example, here Canon system. You'll see that with God knows what I did with these Canadian Pacific puts. With Estelo there, you will see it with Google. All of these puts, I bought them. Let's take a look, for example, at Estelo there. Oh, I think Google might be first. Here is Estelo there. 220. So I bought them somewhere here. So I think I personally did the timing quite right. I saw, okay, they here was a little resistance. They broke through that resistance and I assumed they would go to a lower low. Bought it here, lost my balls, but now that happens. Yeah. And same here with Google. Exactly the same. All through it was I was way too late. Google would have been a buy for put here on exactly that day when that resistance broke. Like right exactly here. It would have been a, a buy. Ah ladies here probably this would this day would have been better. So you wait one day. But yeah, here you could have probably opened it on, on one of these days. Yeah. And we can go through the whole process. Again here alarm research. If you take a look at the October review, it is going to be a disaster. Alarm research is the same. So today obviously is a very tough day, but saw it here was okay. We got that low, we threw, went up, lost my balls, and then that happened. But a good thing I did is, for example, with Replogen, because there it worked out perfectly. And then I'll just show you two more. Where is it? So with Replogen, I saw this. So it here was okay, it will go through, bought there, and then worked out perfectly. Yes, yes, that was really very, very nice. Okay, um, one thing that was really good was I made a lot of money with these two puts, these spy puts. That was a real pleasure. But also when we take a look at these spy puts, for example, at this one, and this one, as you can see here, I lost these 400 combined 800 bucks and if we take a look at the SPY what happened is I assumed that after that hefty like intense rally in August we would retest these lows and what you can see here I sold them on the 8th of September which should be this day yes so what happened I bought them somewhere here I think or here here I think I bought them on that day then everything went all right and they were they were super profitable here i lost my balls and then so the big learning is first of all smaller positions second of all don't single stocks are most often too illiquid it's most often too illiquid and then too expensive that's a very sad thing for example in alarm research i met i I lost a lot of money just because the options were the spreads were so wide and with spx the spreads are sent maybe two free and as another big learning yes just just stay with spx and qqq and if you hadn't have an idea for a specific trade stay with it it's what i what i always tell you and what i always try to tell myself but somehow i don't apply it to that rule uh, it's, it's it's it it just makes me sad that i don't stick to my own rule in, in many ways i think that's been it so far let's see whether we go through that low here so we will see a new low maybe in October, uh, in October, November, I don't know. I hope so because now I bought a lot of puts. Not a lot of, but I stick to my rule, which is roughly a half percent max per trade. Actually, it should be a bit lower. We just free $400 per trade. And yes, with that said, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And ah, oh, I forgot. Sorry, guys. Um, Got to take a look at the expected dividends and at the dividends. So I received 111 euros and one cent in dividends, mainly from Canadian National Railway, United Health, and Prologus. All companies I love, really love, and I expect dividends from Canadian Pacific, Lom Research, and Nasdaq. Love it, really, really love it. Okay, guys, again, with that said, I really hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon, guys. Bye.